In the meantime, there's some rumbling over in Switzerland. Sergio Armani, <laughs> the head of UBS, said, wait a second, we've met the enemy and he's the regulator. <laughs> Basically, you're so concerned about big tube and fail, you got your capital requirements going way too low. You, you don't even assume that we're going to stay in Switzerland. This is something, and you know, we were laughing a little bit because Switzerland at the same time with Facebook is very friendly to the new Libra currency and you know, is opening up to the financial system. Not for everybody, right? And so, you know, obviously in 2008, there was a government um, you know, bailout. So right. there was, but as U.S. regulations get lighter, we're seeing European regulations get tougher, and the European banks um, face a lot of issues. So, Credit Suisse and UBS in particular. Well, I, and I think to be fair in terms of, you know, you have the financial crisis, you're going to see the regulatory environment swing one way, and that's where we are, because at this point, you certainly don't want to see another crisis akin to what we got back in 08. So, you know, you're seeing pushback. I mean, I think regulators are doing what they're supposed to do, yeah. right? Oversee yeah, these sure. industries. The thing about the European banks, though, you've got to sympathize just a little bit, because in the U.S., you see people doing their biggest deal since 2008, and this is requiring UBS and Credit Suisse instead to trim down more, put aside uh, tens of billions of dollars. Now, obviously, it's yeah. at the expense of being safe. They cited really low interest rates. There's a constant debate of who's ahead and who's behind yeah. regulating banks. I know. Europe, U.S., U.S., Europe. Okay. different rules. That's yeah. right.